uh, heading off to the race. Day 56. This is the last Sunday marathon before New York. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> me, myself, and I. It's just me, baby. One man show today. Catch up with you soon. Alright, 13.1. Halfway there. 155. Feeling good. Alright, alright. Mile 11. We're moving, man. This is good. Love the band. Hey, buddy. Yeah, man. Hey, 345, man. Wow. Thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, that's a good day, huh? Him, yo, the guy. I'm Jamie Klein. My brother. Zachary. Yeah. Well, I think it's really, I think he's really good. I think he's, I think he's really tired, but I think it's a really good thing that he's helped, that he's doing this for everyone. Well, that more people should know about so they can help, because not a lot of people know about it. The AT Children's Project survives on families, friends, and the kind, basically the kindness of strangers. And finding somebody like Tim to give up his time and, and use his talent to showcase and to highlight what these kids go through every day and that the help that they need is, is something that, as a family, that we haven't seen since the day we found the AT Children's Project. We, we, found, we found Brad Margus and the AT Children's Project probably two days after we received the diagnosis that Joe had AT. And we had hit the depths of despair thinking that we were totally alone in this. And then we came out of it um, the moment we, we heard that the AT Children's Project was there and was going to help us. And we haven't felt that kind of sense of hope until Tim, again, until Tim came along.